On today's photo moment, we're going to be exploring the blind spot crack light, interesting name, and something called the power junkie. at this really interesting light from a company called Blindspot. Now, Blindspot has been around for a little while. They're a small company out of the UK who make really, really good LED lighting. In fact, last year at NAB, they were brought in to light the entire Atomos booth, if you can imagine that. And this is their newest project, their newest product. It is called the Crack Light. And you know, I leave this up to you to decide why it's called the crack light. Is it because it's so awesome that it's like crack? You're going to need a whole bunch of them. Or is it because it's so thin it'll fit into a crack? Is it, I don't know. You tell me why it's named that. Um, I, I didn't ask. I chose not to. But it is a fantastically thin, super, super thin, super lightweight, very bright LED light that is powered by USB. All you have to do to power it is just plug it into anything USB. I'm like, I can plug it into my computer here. Look, I've, I've got LED light. Unfortunately, they didn't send me the adapter for my iPhone, but you can actually power it from your phone. You have a little lightning or USB-C to normal USB adapter. Plug that in and suddenly you're powering this light from your phone itself. You can power it from a power brick. I had one around here somewhere. Something like this. My monstrous goal zero. I would imagine this thing would power it for probably about a month. And there you go, power. So anywhere where you can get USB power, plug it into a little iPhone charger in the wall. Anywhere and you can get it. You can get USB extension cables for cheap from Amazon, so that would allow you to position this pretty much anywhere you want. Because it's so lightweight, you can tape it to anything, you can Velcro it to stuff, you could probably magnetize it to a wall even. There's just kind of an infinite possibilities here. Now this is actively, as of the 28th of March 2019, this is a Kickstarter project. If you click on the links down in the description, it'll take you to the Kickstarter page. If you're watching this after the Kickstarter has finished, then it'll be taking you to a product page where you can buy it. But here it is. You can see the pricing on here. This is a, it's out of the UK, so it is in pounds. So it's a 30 pound pledge to get the crack light without the dimmer. And we're going to show you the dimmer in a second here. I mean, that's actually early bird pricing, of which there's still a few left. Then there's 40 pounds or more for the normal pricing. And then it goes up to crack light with dimmer is 57 pounds. Uh, crack light with dimmer is 70 pounds for normal pricing and on and on. So you got a few different options in there, buying multiple lights and so on. Let's get to this little guy here that you can choose to get with it or not, the dimmer. This is quite a cool little contraption. Instead of building the battery and the dimmer and all that hardware into this device, they've chosen to leave all of this separate, which I will admit, once you put it all together like I had at the opening of the show, a single light is suddenly all this stuff. And so there are easier solutions for having everything all in one. But by separating it out into different pieces like this, it really does extend the versatility of it. Meaning, like I said, you can put this anywhere. You can power it for something that will last virtually forever, whatever it might be. So you just it's just a different option type of lighting. Back to the dimmer. You've got a male USB here and a female on the top there. And if you look at the back, it actually tells you, plug that into the battery, plug that into the LED, or the LED into that, I should say. There's a power switch on there, power switch. And then, of course, it says dimmer. And there's a little slider rocker type of thing, dimmer, on the top there. So if I take this and plug this into my power source and plug the light into that, turn on the battery, turn the light back on. And now I've got, you can see there, it's quite a lot dimmer on there. And I have a little rocking switch dimmer on the side. Nice. OK, so that's your dimming hardware, which you can choose to use or not. If you want it at full power, you don't need the dimmer. Then we get into this. Just a brief interruption to remind you to check out photojoseph.com where you'll find all of my YouTube videos organized by product, making it really easy to find exactly what you're looking for. You may also want to check out my live training where I do deep dives on various photo and video apps, often resulting in hours and hours of training for those products. Also, be sure to check out the workshops page to see if there's any upcoming events you may want to join me on. And finally, while you're there, subscribe to the newsletter so you don't miss a thing. All right, now back to our show. This is a separate product. This little thing here is called the Power Junkie. Now, the Power Junkie is designed to hold an NP battery. We'll slap that on there in a second. So the NP battery just slides right in here. It then has two USB ports and a DC power tap. So this means that you can charge your phone from this. You can basically you could use this to charge or power anything that requires USB power. The DC tap on there means that you could actually power a camera from it. So they also make 
adapters for a variety of cameras. First of all, just take a look at this, the Power Junkie itself on Amazon. And then they have three different battery dummies, dummy batteries, if you will, that are shipping right now. Here's the one for Panasonic. So $30 for that, and that will give you the ability to power any G-series Panasonic camera. So you could power a camera using Sony NP batteries. If I put this whole thing together, let's slap this on, slap that into place on there. And it's got a little battery readout on the side on here, so you know your battery power. Then if I want to power something or charge something, let's just charge my phone real quick. I'll plug this into here. So there's a, a standard lightning cable. Plug this into my phone. Voila. We are now charging the phone. Right, so you got that kind of option. You can plug in both at once. Again, you can plug that in to, uh, to a camera, to power a camera. On the side of this, you have two USB inputs. These are for charging the Sony battery. So you can use this as an interface to get power from the battery to something else or get power from something else to the battery. It's just this super versatile interface that sits between your battery and the rest of the world. The bottom of this has a quarter 20 jack on it, so you can screw that into something. It has a cold shoe mount, so you can find a clever way to mount that up to a camera. And it also has a tiny little right here uh, receptacle for shoving a zip tie through. Now, I will admit that it can be a little bit of a challenge to kind of get that just through and bend it around, but you can. That is designed to put a zip tie in. It actually has a tiny little loop on the side here, which I found if you have a small enough zip tie that will fit into there as well. So you can hang it like so. So a couple different ways to mount it. Cold shoe, quarter 20, zip tie, really basically just a super versatile device. And then if you want to power the light itself, let's plug that all together. Take that light, take the dimmer. We'll go ahead and go with a full dimmer on there. Plug this thing in, plug this into here. And now we've got what I opened the show with, this admittedly kind of an odd contraption, but a way to power this with a dimmer from an NP battery. Pretty neat. Overall, I kind of like it. Hey, do me a favor. If you like this video, hit that, hit that thumbs up, hit like, hit subscribe, but also share it. There's a share button everywhere you're watching this on YouTube. Hit the share button. Let the world know about it. Tell a friend. Get the word out. Help spread the word. Get these videos seen by a few more people. I would super appreciate that. Let's go into the Q&A. For those of you watching live, the Q&A is about to start. For those of you not watching live, the Q&A will be appearing right here in just a moment.